After a couple weeks of hiatus and a lot of moving, we finally are back to making some YouTube videos for you guys. And then this week, we're gonna talk a little bit about shutting down the two tanks, where my livestock ended up, and how things went. Let's get into it. What's going on Reefers? Welcome back to another episode. My name's Blaine and this is the King Tide Corals channel. As you guys can tell, normally I shoot all my intros and most of my videos whenever I talk in front of my lagoon, but sadly, the lagoon has been shut down and we're actually in my new office space. This is gonna be a really cool area where we can create and build together, but as for right now, it's just a lot of boxes and empty tanks. So for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and flash back to when we started working on breaking down the King Tide Lagoon. In this video, we're gonna talk about what it took to break it down, where my stock ended up, and what the plans are to come. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and let's go ahead and get into it. Flashback. All right, Reefers, today is the day. We're finally shutting down the lagoon and the macro shorelines tank. We're gonna be working on the lagoon first. It has most of the livestock in there, and I'm gonna be taking it over to David's house once again. We have the tester corals in there now, and everything looks really good, so we're gonna go ahead and start bringing over the rest of the stock, and also the move date is right around the corner, so I need to get these tanks shut down, cleaned up, and ready to start traveling down to California here soon. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have set aside so I can make the tank shut down as quickly as possible because once I start it, I wanna make sure that I'm getting the fish and all the corals moved as quickly as possible and out of the containers that they're gonna be in when they transfer over to David's place. So let's check out the stuff. So right here, we have the buckets set up right here. I'm gonna be putting the fish inside this bucket here and then off to the side of this other bucket, I'm gonna be setting up for when I travel the rock down. Actually, sorry, the orange rocks for the rock and the white bucket is for the fish. I have all my tools right here set aside. I'm gonna be pulling a bunch of water out first so it's easier to grab things in the lagoon. I have the hose here. I have some Ziploc baggies set aside, my net to catch the fish. And then I also have a chisel and hammer ready to go so I can start breaking the corals off of the rock pieces once they're ready. And I have a bunch of containers here for any of the frags. It's a pretty sad day. I know the lagoon has been with us for almost, for me at least, almost about two years, a year and a half or so. But it's gonna be fun to shut this down and move it down to California and restart. It'll be cool. I have a lot of ideas that I wanna do with it, but. Let's go ahead and start working on getting this tank shut down. A few moments later. All right, we've gotten the tank to a point where I feel comfortable I can start taking the rock out and I can start breaking off the pieces of coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one piece at a time. I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna chip off the corals, put them back into the bucket, and then we'll go ahead and start separating corals in the rock. And then soon enough, we'll be catching the fish. All right, guys, so we're outside now. I have a piece of the live rocks that we're gonna start working on. I got some gloves on, so that way we're not gonna get any toxins on us, especially from the palithoas. There's a couple palithoas grandis on here. So we're gonna work on breaking this rock up and getting all the corals set, ready to go to travel. I'm gonna be utilizing, oh, there's a piece right there. piece of toadstool just broke off. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got a couple chisels here to work with, and then also we have the rock that we're gonna try to break up. So I'm gonna go ahead, work on breaking off some of these smaller pieces first. I, what my goal probably here is, I'm probably gonna break off whatever I need to when it comes to 
these softies here, especially this big toadstool, a lot of flesh still connected to it. So I'm gonna do my best to try and not mess up the rock too much, keep the structure overall, but also save the corals and get them off of here. And here we are with the remainder of the rocks. So we'll go ahead, set these rocks into the bucket here, and then we'll get everything back inside into some Ziplocs and ready to go for travel. All right, moving on to the middle part of the aquascape. And all that remained on this one seems to be a little baby piece of blue hypnia in the back. You guys can see here in the back, some blue hypnia. And then this toadstool is attached up top. So we'll go ahead and break this toadstool off and then that's the only thing we got for this rock here. And there's the toadstool right there, popped off real nice and clean and we still have the rock all together. I did see the emerald crab. I'm not sure, oh, he just fell down on the ground. Here's a little baby emerald crab. So trying to run away on me, I'm gonna toss him into the bucket, but that's it for the middle side of the aquascape. All right, we're on our last section of rock and all we have on this rock is the Tongan toadstool and then also the long polyp weeping willow. Also, there's this cool cold coral or branching little soft coral on this rock as well. I have some codium too that I'll probably leave on. And then, oh wow. Well, the Tongan wasn't even attached. As you guys can see, it's grown a ton since we've last shown you guys, really, and it just looks really good as of now. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, too. A little softy. And then this last one as well. Looks like we didn't need to use the chisel once. So, awesome, really good stuff. The last rock from the lagoon is all set. So, let's go ahead get this back inside, get it into the tank. We'll hold it over there for now. Let's get all the fish out, start taking this over to the Davids. All right, as you guys can see, we have the lagoon completely emptied out. I have the jawbreaker colony still. I need to find out the best possible situation, how to get that into a bag. I have a shroom cup that I'm probably gonna utilize for it. I'm gonna take majority of the rest of the water, put it into this bucket with the live rock, and then we'll fish out the uh, fish and get them heading over to David's. All right, the lagoon is emptied. Let's go ahead and start working on grabbing the fish and getting them into the bucket and to their new home. Whoa. There's one clownfish. Cherub Angel is in. Cleaner Shrimp. Let him crawl out on his own so I don't mess up any of his whiskers. Last Clownfish. Okay, now the last fish, Lucky. All right, come on Lucky, let's do it. And then Lucky is caught as well. Okay, so that is all the fish from the tank. Go ahead and grab the last couple snails and then let's go ahead and start working on getting everything over to David's as quickly as possible. All right, well, the lagoon is shut down and we have everything separated out. So here is the rock that I'm going to be taking with me down south. Here's a bunch of pieces in here. There's some more, a couple pieces in there. The remainder are all in bags in there. And then here are the fish and a couple of the mushroom boxes and then all the inverts are in here as well. So everything is all set and ready to go and start the travel. But I'm gonna go ahead, make sure I got everything set up. I'm gonna grab the ATO as well for David. And then I'm gonna get all these things in the car and we'll go ahead and head up north. 10 seconds later. All right, reefers, we just arrived at David's house. I have all the corals and the fish ready to go. Let's go ahead and start bringing them in and get them into their new home. I didn't get much time to film when I was at David and Jackie's, but it was a really great setup that David has gotten going for me to hold all my livestock during the time of when I won't have the tank up and running. They're all in really good hands, so you guys should not be worried. 
As for the lagoon, it was sad to finally see it drained out and empty, but at the same time, it was really cool to see that it's a blank canvas once again that I can start working on. This tank has seen so many different phases and reefs and different styles, so it's gonna be fun to try new things with it again. Of course, having a blank canvas allows for any reefer or any artist to just kind of flourish and start things once again. But I wanna say a goodbye to the King Tide Lagoon as it was, and well, a hello to the new King Tide Lagoon once it's back up and running. But for the time being, it was fun while it lasted. All right, reefers. Well, it's come down to the Macro Shorelines tank. It's pretty late. If you guys can see, it's 9.30 at night. It's been a busy day moving stuff, getting everything ready to go for the move tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and shut down the Macro Shorelines tank. It's super dirty now, but we're gonna go ahead and remove all the macro. We're gonna set aside any of the good stuff and then also set aside the rocks into this bucket. And then we'll get this ready for transfer as well. Later. The macro shorelines tank is all up and done. All the rocks pulled out, just getting the remainder of these macros out. I'm just gonna be taking a tiny little starter pack with me down south. And then also I need to fish out our favorite buddy, Pistol Pete. He's hanging out right down in the corner. I'll put an arrow towards him. But either way, the tank is all shut down. The rock is in a bucket set aside. I'm gonna clear out this sand. I'm gonna check for the flaming prawn goby. I have not seen any sign of him. Kind of sad, you know, I got him, he disappeared. They're a really cryptic species, so too bad. But we'll stick around in the sand and we'll have to see. But there's Pistol Pete hanging out. He's moving around, but the macro shorelines is all said and done. All right, so now we have the rock from both the lagoon and then now the rock from the macro shorelines. They're both plugged in right now, keeping the heaters going, and I'll probably get either a bubbler or a wave maker on both of them when I travel down, but all the rock is situated and hanging out for now. Well, that's it for this week's video, guys. Happy I was able to share with you the breaking down of the King Tide Lagoon. I'm sad to see it go, but of course, we're gonna set it back up. The tank's not gone. And of course it came down with me here to my new home. It's gonna be really fun to try it out again and get a new cycle and phase of this system. Of course, like I've said in the past, this tank has seen all kinds of different styles of reefs and tanks, so it's gonna be cool to try out something new entirely for this system. Definitely thinking mainly soft coral dominated like it was before, but also incorporating a little bit more macroalgae, trying to get more of a natural feel to it. It's gonna be really fun to share this all on the channel and having this new office space is gonna be really great to create and start new things with all of you guys. Once again, thank you so much to David and Jackie for homing my stock during this time. Without you guys, nothing would be able to make it really. It'd be really difficult for me to bring everything down, get everything back and going within that 15 to 17 hour drive just would have been too much for me. So you guys homing everything for the time being is really awesome and it's gonna be really fun to unbox all of my stuff and start again once we're ready to go. So thank you again to you guys, but also thanks to you guys for stopping in, checking out this video, and until next week guys, happy reefing.